Yo, Hannah. Yo, Hannah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different to my usual content. Today I have a dollhouse tour. I've spoken about this a little bit on my channel before, but this is a dollhouse I've been working on for my kids. And I really wanted to share a tour because it's been an ongoing project for most of this year now, and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. So the house itself we bought off Gumtree, which is like the equivalent to Craigslist. And it was a bit of an adventure picking it up and bringing it home. On the way home, it got a little bit wet in the rain. So as soon as we got back, we took the backing of the dollhouse off. And we also stripped the floors, which were old carpet and old lino. We removed the old wallpaper and then I painted the whole house with a primer. I originally painted the outside of the house blue with a white roof, but later on I decided to have the outside walls be white and have a blue roof. I used duck egg blue and I used linen white. In the end we also added hinged doors on the front of the dollhouse to allow us to close it up when it's not in use. And to make it look a bit nicer we added some faux windows by gluing some window frames on the front of the house. The frames I bought from Etsy and I'll link them down in the description box and I'll make the description box as detailed as I can for everything inside the dollhouse as well. So make sure you check it out if you are wanting to know where something is from. Inside the house I used a combination of things on the walls. So some have paint only, some have wallpaper and some have scrapbook paper. And for the floors I got some wood grain lino tiles and I cut them into strips of about a centimetre each. And then I did a faux floorboard look over the whole house using those. I stuck the whole flooring down with liquid nails just to make sure it was really permanent. And then in the bathroom I also used some more lino tiles and I cut them into little one inch squares to tile half up the walls. The house originally had six rooms but on the second floor I added two little loft spaces above two of the rooms and in the last room on the top floor I just added some really slim shelving around the room and I just did that by painting some wooden rulers white and then I glued them on top of some trim that I stuck where the scrapbook paper ended on the walls. Inside the house the furnishing is made up of things from many many different places so some stuff is handmade, some stuff was thrifted, some bought or made on Etsy or eBay and then there's some other random toy brands like Barbie and Mayleg. So I'll go room by room and explain what everything is and where everything's from and also pop it in the description box in case I'm not very clear or if I miss anything. And a lot of the small pieces you'll see in this tour are actually not usually kept inside the dollhouse at the moment only because my daughter is only just about to turn two so she's still a bit small for some of those smaller pieces they're a little bit chokeable so the whole house is in a baby proofed version of this at the moment but i wanted to show you what it's going to look like in the end when all of those little details are in it so that will be when she's just a little bit older it's worth noting as well that on the outside of the house I decided to hand paint some little vines going up the edges of the house and so I just put them along the corners and I thought that that just added a nice little touch. So now let's go into the house. So starting on the bottom floor when you go through the little veranda and through the front door the first room is the lounge room. This is actually probably the smallest room in the house. But in this room I have a fireplace that I made with a picture frame. I have some pictures up on the wall, the larger pictures I made with some paddle pop sticks and some pictures that I printed. The couches, there's one that I made with dowel sticks. I also sewed up the cushions and I put a little doily throw over the top. The wicker chairs are vintage and then there's like a little shelf up on the wall that was also thrifted. I just found it at the op shop. And all of the little vases were also found at op shops, so thrifted pieces. The small little golden frames are from eBay, and then the little tea sets were thrifted as well, and some of them were given to me by a friend. And then when you look through the doorway you come into the kitchen 
The furniture in here was from Etsy. So the table and the big kitchen bench were from an Etsy shop that I'll link below. The fridge is an old vintage Barbie fridge. And then the stove is a Maleg piece. So it's a tin toy. This brand is a little bit pricey, but I feel like those pieces are really like heirloom toys that you can pass down because they're really good quality and it was the perfect scale for Barbie. The little table centerpiece fruit bowl was thrifted. So was the doily that's underneath it. And then on the shelves, there is like all random food. So there's some Shopkins, there's some Coles minis, which are, it was like a promotion that our grocery store had. There's some Barbie pieces on there as well. The telephones are Bratz doll telephones. I just took the fluffy cover off the top of them. Um, the baskets are vintage and the little high chair is also a Maleg piece. And the rug underneath the table was a mouse pad from eBay as well. So moving through into the next room, we have the bathroom. And in this bathroom, I've used furniture from a vintage Cindy doll. So the toilet, the bathtub, and the little sink there are Cindy doll pieces. I got these on eBay because they are vintage. And then the wicker looking furniture was actually hot pink and it was a Barbie, like a vintage Barbie um, set of furniture. So I spray painted those white and I used this Rust-Oleum paint to do, to do that and the washing machine is also a Maleg piece so again a nice quality tin piece of furniture. I've used little embroidered doilies for rugs on the floor and then on the shelves you see like more of those Coles promotions so there's little collectible groceries and also on top of the washing machine and then there's also some random like Barbie doll and Bratz doll pieces in there as well like on the sink and on the shelving. So that's the bottom story. Moving up onto the second floor, this room here on the end is like a bedroom, I thought for a girl or a teenage girl. So again, I have a rug here on the floor that is an embroidered doily. And then this little toy chest, or like, I think it's supposed to be like a napkin holder or something, I found at an op shop. I thought it would make a nice little toy box. There's a little Barbie um, cat bed. And then the bed itself here is also Maleg, another really nice quality piece. And then the frames here I made, except for the Barbie one that actually came with the house. The mirror that's stuck on the wall I found in an Etsy shop, so like a vintage Etsy shop. And then the wardrobe was a vintage, like an old vintage handmade piece. I also have a little Christmas ornament that my friend sent me. And I thought that it would be a really cute like little miniature dollhouse in the house. So I put it in there. And the little side table also came with the wicker chairs that you saw in the lounge room. And then above this room there is a loft space. So just a little space that we added. And you can fit this little like Kelly sized bed up there. And I got that from Etsy as well. And I'll link it down below. Moving into the next room, this is like the nursery but I also fit like another kid sized bed in there. The little bouncer is Maleg. This bed was a, it was a bare wooden bed that I painted and I added the little rose decals on it. And then I sewed up some bedding and then I decided to use these little cots, like stackable cots as like a cart or like a shelf beside the bed. There's an old vintage Hart family wicker piece of furniture there and then beside that this is a cot that I got on Etsy so I'll link that down below as well this is a handmade piece from Etsy and again I just sewed up a little blanket to put inside the cot a little basket hamper is again a little vintage like thrifted piece and then above this room we put another loft where we could fit two little beds a little rug and some chairs and again these beds are from Etsy I'll link the shop down below the table and chairs were like a smaller scale dollhouse set from eBay 
and the rug was a vintage piece. And then the last room here is like the main bedroom in the house. The bed in this room is also from Etsy, so I'll link that below. The little vases are all thrifted, vintage pieces. There's also a little polymer clay plant that my sister made for the house. The rug is from eBay. And then around the room, as I said, I made these little shelves using wooden rulers. And I thought that would be a good little place to put some shoes. And then the little dresser piece, which is absolutely beautiful, is another vintage piece that came with the um, wardrobe you saw in the other room. And then out on the veranda there, there's a little dog kennel, which is actually just from Kmart. And the little stool beside the bed is another one of those wicker pieces of Barbie furniture that I spray painted white. So that is pretty much the whole house. If I missed anything, um, make sure you check the description box below because I'll try and sort of go through everything and note where everything came from and I'll link whatever I can. But yeah, that is how the house turned out. As I said, it's not usually quite this detailed just because it's usually a bit more baby proofed than this, but I wanted to show you what it looks like when it has all the details in it. And yeah, oh, I forgot to mention the bedding inside the main bedroom is just a old hanky and then the little cushions or the pillows I made on my sewing machine just with a bit of fabric. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making this dollhouse and I'm really, really happy and excited with how it turned out. I know that when my daughter is a little bit older, she's going to be able to enjoy it to its full potential. And yeah, I really hope that she does. I really hope that she gets a lot of play out of this as well as the boys because they love it as well. But yeah, thank you for stopping by my channel today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.